a very special ceremony in Temecula on the 11th anniversary of September 11th. From the mountains to the prairie. American flags lined the streets and first responders were out in full force as hundreds of people came together showing off their patriotism. The ceremony began at 6.59 a.m., marking the time of the collapse of the South Tower of the World Trade Center. Ladies and gentlemen, it's 6.59 and it's 9.59 in New York City. This is the moment Stephen Ziller and many of his other brother firefighters were killed when that tower collapsed. But this ceremony was extra special. It was a welcome home for Marine Corporal Juan Dominguez. Dominguez is a triple amputee. He lost both legs and one arm while serving in Afghanistan. And today, thanks to the Gary Sinise Foundation and the Stephen Siller Tunnel to Tower Foundation, Dominguez and his new wife, Alexis, received the keys to a new custom-built smart house. Let's move back that flag. Take that flag back. It shows you that America does care and you know even though we don't ask for a lot of things you know it's good to be know that we fight for a good cause and that people do support us. Actor Gary Sinise said that this was the first time he was able to attend a ceremony like this and he was honored to be a part of it. Uh, it's, a, it's a special day today I have you know I've been a, uh, a part of uh, raising money to build these homes for a while now but this is the first time that I've actually been able to attend one of the dedications for the homes. So uh, luckily uh, it was a short drive, two hour drive down from Los Angeles. So I got to go back to work in a, in a few minutes, uh, back to the set of CSI New York. But uh, you know, to be able to be here and to see Juan receive the keys for his home and, and to see this neighborhood welcome him is, is very, very special. Temecula has been a, an outstanding community. Uh, the way they've embraced this uh, special wounded warrior and uh, opened their, their hearts and their pocketbooks to, to help us make this possible for him. Everything in this home is specially designed with Juan's needs in mind, including this elevator. <laughs> Going from upstairs to downstairs. From an iPad, the couple can do everything from lowering the cupboards to counter height to monitoring activity outside of the house. I think for me, the safest one that I would have to say is the microwave. I know it seems as simple as the microwave, but you know, having a microwave overhead is really dangerous for me. You know, I could burn myself and I have, you know, sometimes I'll, I'll try to grab something because you know, my wife will be busy and I don't want to bother her. This way, you know, I just, I have a microwave on the bottom and it, it gives us both peace of mind. She knows that I'm not making a mess in the kitchen or hurting myself and she doesn't always have to be tending to me so it's peace of mind on both ends. The five bedroom 3700 square foot home also includes a studio where Dominguez can jam on his drums. Simple Fidelis, our motto, always faithful. For the Press Enterprise and PE.com, I'm Jackie West. Go!